everyone i hope you're all doing great and today i will build the landing gear for the airbus a350 that i'm building and this is for the dreamliner and i was planning to use this but then i found out that it's completely different in every way the strut is longer on the a350 and the space between the wheels is even more and so i have to build them again from scratch I will use the same wheels because they are still perfect, almost new. I will just add a bigger or a longer strut and build the whole uh, base again and also use uh, wider axles to have more uh, space between the wheels to match the uh, A350. So let's get to work. So this is the old one and that's the new one it's uh, longer and here the the scissors and the pistons are exactly the same and so what I want to do I will remove this piston and install it in the new one and keep the scissors because this one has this um, spring that I cannot use in the other Airbus A350 because the tilt is in the opposite way is like forward tilt and so uh, I will remove them and use this piston because it has the hole and it has already made this uh, it's inside there is like kind of washer it's aluminium uh, it's like a converter from five millimeters sorry from six millimeters to four millimeters to match my 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 excel thing that i made Very good. All right, that's the new one. Perfect. I took the spring out because it's a different story here. And now to the main uh, base. This is too small and I use just a simple aluminum brackets. I mean, you can use anything you want, even if you have an aluminum pipe also could also work or this square thing like something like this as well. This could also work, but I prefer this open one it works I use this in every airplane I made and so now we need to find how longer we need to make the new one and then cut it all right to find the measurements for the landing gear we have to go back to the drawing and talking about the drawing I get so many questions where I get my plans or my blueprints unfortunately there are no blueprints available for airliners i mean i wish i have something like that where i have every part ready for me just uh, cut it and it tells me where to install it at at how many degrees and this stuff this will make it so much faster for me and easier but unfortunately there is nothing out there i looked a lot nothing and so i use autocad drawings and these are like three dimensions where like a front side and top view and I use these drawings to get like the general measurements uh, like the length and then the wingspan and stuff like that and also for example like the shape of the wing and we use these drawings also to design the wings for AutoCAD just to follow the shape but we designed the wing on from scratch everything ourselves and also I use uh, these drawings as well to make my 3D models to print my molds like the nose, a tail the horizontal stabilizer for example i make a mold and uh, that takes so much time but all of it is on autocad and on fusion 360 i extract some models to fusion 360 if i could not finish it on autocad it's so much uh, work but uh, i do it myself and that's why it takes so much time for me sometimes to find to find the the exact angle for example the adf mount in the previous video i took me so much time to find it because I have no drawing to follow I have to find it myself how it should be and I have to cut many many pieces until I find the correct one and so yeah that's it plans I do them myself answer the question and now let's go to the drawing and find the measurements for the landing gear. all right so here this is the drawing 
that's the Airbus A350-900 you see how much we did these are the wings and this is uh, how I made the mold for the stabilizer it took me so much time and the, yeah even the, 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 the ribs I made them myself that took so much time anyways landing gear let's go to the landing gear these are the wheels you see there's so much uh, space between them and even here we have uh, also it's uh, much wider so I draw this line and this is uh, from the center of each wheel and that will tell me the size or how long this has to be so here it says 10 uh, 0.5 uh, I'm using here centimeters 10.5 centimeters and so if I want to add one centimeter here at least one or if I add 15 millimeters here 15 millimeters that will make it 13 centimeters that should be enough so 13 centimeters we have our block and then the space between the wheels six centimeters if I measure it from here then I can know the wheel axle has to be 11.6 I will make it 12 centimeters all right that's all we need so let's go and cut the base all right Let's just cut one axle and see we need 11.6 but the wheel is straight I'll make 12 just in case oh whoa 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 I think that's a lot uh, the main axle for the wheel which is the space between the two wheels if I made it this much which is almost like the real thing this means if the whole thing goes when I retract the gear and goes inside the fuselage I'm not sure if the doors will oh I would have I have okay I have to uh, I have to check that hmm so let's say this is the landing gear and it goes inside the fuselage Oh. Oh, I have oh I have so much space oh good good I have so much space perfect you see the surface look how much space I have okay that should be enough It's just temporary because I need to measure. Uh, I need to add a spacer here, and I will 3D print that like a small, simple tube. But I need to know exactly how much. Uh -huh. 3.5, 4. Okay, so it's two centimeters each.
All right, let's see. So nice. And then this goes here. And another one here. Perfect. Perfect. Nice. Very nice. That looks more like an A350. Look at this. That is perfect. That's perfect. And they look good. Very nice. So the gear is stuck in this, at this tilt, and when it touches down, it's free. Perfect. Very cool. Nice. Yeah, I changed my mind and I made this kind of uh, a different uh, washer, but this is like, uh, it's like the braking disc, whatever. This will be on the wheel side, and this is the cover. Uh, for the base ah I mean it has to match but it doesn't look bad better than leaving it with aluminium so I will print all these and uh, see if it works all right let's see what we got here okay this is the first one and I already started the second one so let's install these new ones on this one and see if they fit or if they look good even. <laughs> yeah, this looks so much better. I like it more. I would paint these later silver and they will look so cool. Okay, I need to print some others because this one need to be adjusted okay I modified them and I think these are better let's see if they fit perfect very nice very nice well, obviously it doesn't look like the real thing. At least the dimensions are the same. And yeah, I mean, it's also it looks really cool with this. I will take it apart now and uh, paint all this uh, 3D printed parts to silver. So they will look much nicer. Very nice, I'm so happy with this. That's beautiful. <laughs> That's amazing. All right, let's try it. Okay. It's almost straight like this. Just tighten one screw to better enough. The doors are installed and ready. I will show that in part five, which is coming hopefully in two weeks. So. Wait, I will turn this off. Just for the gear to calibrate, this is gear up. Gear up, okay, like this. Okay, I need to lose the tension on the servos, but for now it's fine. All right, please don't get stuck anywhere. Go. Go. Perfect, it's perfect, amazing. Wow, beautiful. 
awesome. Very nice. Very nice. Closer look. <laughs> Amazing. Nice. Very cool. I love it. Very cool. And I made these also 3D printed. Just some more details. And they go here. Like so. I don't know why, but they look cool. Very nice. And also they protect the screw from falling and that's a good thing all right that's it for this video uh, i think it's a short video because yeah i did not do so much just these i'm so happy with them and uh, stay tuned for the next video which is bar five hopefully in two weeks and I'm so excited because I will assemble the airplane outside, uh, check the CG, and I need to check the CG before I cut the hatch, so I know where the batteries will go, and I cut the hatch there uh, to install the electronics and finish uh, everything inside the fuselage. And I'm so excited to assemble the whole airplane together because it will be the first time, and uh, I'm really excited. So stay tuned, and uh, thank you so much for your support. Uh, thanks a lot to my Patreons and uh, for you guys for watching you're really showing me so much love in the comment section <laughs> it's amazing in there and please stay healthy and stay positive and stay tuned for the next part don't miss it it will be awesome and thank you for watching and see you in the next video bye